Imagine a program in Toronto that lets people onto our most iconic streets to run, walk, bike, and play. This is Open Streets TO. Picture yourself in the middle of Bloor Street, in front of High Park. You're on your bike. There's no cars, just people. Lots of people. Free to explore the city in a fun and active way. I created the new Ciclovia in Bogota because I found a very small program with a few thousand people, but I saw a huge potential. Without needing to invest money in buildings and arenas and gymnasiums, we had this street. So if we opened the streets to the people and close into cars every Sunday of the year, we were able to take a program from a few thousand people to more than a million people every Sunday. Toronto is ideal for an open street because it's very small, it's only 20 by 40 kilometers, it's pretty flat, and most, it has wonderful places. It has universities and parks and museums and restaurants and areas to go to. Open Streets TO plans to open more than 10 kilometers of city streets to people, connecting the west end of the city with the east end, while participants take part in fun and active recreation, meet new people, explore parks and public spaces, spend time with their friends and family, and discover what new neighborhoods have to offer. In cities where open streets happen often, people are encouraged to participate in regular physical activity. They don't need a gym membership or to pay for exercise classes. They begin to live healthier lives, and this can help us reduce healthcare costs. Open Streets programs can help us rethink how we get active in Toronto. Uh, my own personal inspiration for Open Streets in Toronto is actually a lived experience when I traveled to Guadalajara, Mexico. And what I saw there was an active and engaged citizenship that was uh, participating on an open and Sunday morning recreational program that was free to all residents. People of all ages and all abilities took over their streets. And what I saw was extraordinary. The quality of life and the happiness that was clearly out and display on people's faces was infectious. And I would love to bring that program to Toronto. Open Streets will be great for Toronto because it does a fairly simple thing. It says that the streets are public space. In saying the streets are public space, we automatically expand our sense of civic space. Open Streets will make us think about all the different ways we can get around the city without a car. Think about our trails, our bike lanes, our transit. These can all help to draw people from the Greater Toronto Area and connect them with our most iconic streets. Open Streets TO is different from other street events like food festivals or marathons because traffic will be able to pass through the route at specific streets. Open Streets participants will be required to stop at the red light, just like any other day, and traffic will be able to pass through when the light turns green. This will help to reduce the impact on local traffic and will make it easy for people to get out and explore their city. I feel that Toronto can create a fantastic open streets program. This is not something that just works in Bogota, but we see it in great cities like New York and Paris, and Toronto could be the best open streets program in the world. This is your opportunity as Torontonians to get on your bike, get walking, push a stroller, meet your friends for brunch, and come out and join us. We can make Open Streets TO the most successful Open Streets program in the world, but we need your help. Get involved and show your support by going to openstreetsto.org. Help us spread the word by sharing this video on your social networks. Every little bit helps.